Good morning. My name is Ashley Benton, and I am here to tell you how to make my chicken strips. Chicken strips are great no matter any occasion or any event. They're very delicious, and they're always great to snack on. My boyfriend even says that they are better than KFCs. I learned how to fry from my grandmother, who is an excellent fryer. Um, I took one of her old recipes, just a flour and egg based batter, and I added some spices, tweaked it up, and made it my very own. One thing we always need to remember is to wash your hands just in case we have any transfer bacteria. We do not want that. Germs are very bad, especially with all the flus and stuff going around. A couple items that you're going to need to start you off is a cutting board and a long serrated knife and two bowls. To start you off with just some optional ingredients is, or for some regular ingredients, get flour, salt and pepper, accent and seasoned salt. Those are definitely a must for a really good base coat for your chicken. Some optional ingredients are things such as um, smoky mesquite, creole, creole seasoning, and chicken rub, which is what I use that just sasses up the flavor very much. What you're also going to need is eggs, and later on I'll tell you a more healthier approach to your batter if you'd be interested in hearing. For your chicken, you can have a choice of either frozen or fresh. If you'd like to go for the cheaper um, output, you go for the frozen breast because you can get a probably about 12 breasts for about $5, large breasts though for $5, and a frozen bag, but the thing is you have to defrost it. Make sure if you're going to defrost, plan 24 hours ahead, and if you're going to defrost the microwave, you may do that too. Your best approach though is definitely the fresh. You're always guaranteed the best um, quality chicken if you do that. What you need is definitely some type of frying device. I have myself a deep fryer. You can also use a pan on top of the stove. If you do that, make sure to always use canola oil anytime frying. And you're going to fill that pan up about one and a half to two inches deep with oil. Um, according to the Heart Foundation, frying guidelines must say you never use tainted or dark oil. If you happen to turn the oil on infected to smoke, throw it out immediately. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to start by adding about a cup of flour to your bowl. Then you're going to start adding about almost a teaspoon each, uh, or sorry, a tablespoon each of about each of the seasonings. Like I said, it's your choice of what you would like to do, but you definitely have to have the salt, seasoned salt, accent, and pepper. Alright, what you're next going to do is you're going to whisk four eggs together in a bowl. If you'd like to get a more healthier approach and use white eggs, you can do six to eight egg whites. What you're going to do next is you're going to remove the chicken, and when you remove the chicken, make sure there's no fat or any blood on there. If there is, you're going to take your long straight knife, and you're going to cut those parts off so they look nice and beautiful. Also, if you'd like your strips either skinnier or smaller, you may do so at that time. What next is you're going to do is you're going to take your strips, you're going to dip it into the egg, make sure it's completely coated. Then you're going to dip it into the flour base that you have. Make sure all of it is coated all around. If you see any pink spots, just use maybe the uh, tablespoon spoon and scoop up some of the uh, flour and stick it on top of the chicken. Next you're going to wash your, wash your hands again because you don't want, you just have, you just been touching raw chicken and you have a bunch of eggs stuck to your fingers and that just would just be a mess to get everywhere. What you're going to do next is the frying process. What you're going to do is to make sure never to lay the strips on top of each other. One, it ruins the batter and two, your chicken will not cook fully. Uncooked, or unfully cooked chicken is a really, really bad thing. You can get salmonella poisoning and it's not healthy for you. How to know when your uh, chicken is almost done is I time mine for about 8 minutes. And when I start noticing that the chicken is floating towards the top of the oil, I think it's getting done. And what I need to do is there, you take this chicken strips out and you make sure just to cut one piece open, make sure there's no pink marks. If it's all um, white meat, you're good to go. Also, what you can do is add numerous sides. I chose fries for mine, but if you want a more healthy approach, you can do steamed vegetables, apple slices, and if the French fries not for you, there's always baked potatoes. 
and a great way to have your chicken strips is to dip them in something, such as um, ketchup, gravy, and barbecue sauce. Now I just showed you how to make my chicken strips. Thank you.